Hi guys, welcome to all of you for our lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the probability uh, distributions, especially the discrete. And uh, here, in this, we are going to discuss the Poisson distribution. We already discussed the binomial distribution. In Poisson distribution, we have uh, the lambda as the parameter. This Poisson distribution is the limiting case of the binomial distribution. In a binomial distribution, if in a binomial distribution, if n tends to infinity and p tends to zero, that is the number of items is more and the probability of success p tends to zero. Uh, so we can call this Poisson distribution as uh, yeah the distribution, the finding probabilities of the rare occurrences. Okay, the uh, probability mass function of the Poisson distribution is given by e power minus lambda lambda power x divided by x factorial. So we can call this as a p of lambda also because uh, the parameter here is lambda and we can call this lambda as uh, the product of n into p where n is the number of items and p is the probability of success. Let us discuss a problem over here. If two percentage of the components produced by a machine are defective in a box of 200 components produced by this machine, find the following. The first one, it is to find the mean, variance, standard deviation, probability mass function for this uh, situation, uh, the probability of getting exactly two defectives, the probability of getting uh, none of them is defective and the probability of at least uh, three items are defective. Okay, so since uh, it is in a box of 200, we can consider the number of items is 200. And here we are discussing about the defectives, so we can take the probability of success uh, as a defective, which is already given as a 2 percentage, which is 2 divided by 100. The next one is to find the mean. The rule for mean is NP, so it is 200 into 2 divided by 100, which is 4. The mean and variance of a Poisson distribution is C. That is, the mean is also NP. The variance is also NP. That is mean and variance is same for Poisson distribution notated by lambda which is equal to the product of N and P. So again it is NP which is equal to the same answer. The standard deviation, the usual one, the square root of variance which is equal to uh, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. The next one, the probability mass function. The probability function for Poisson distribution is given by e to the power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. Come on. This x varies from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. till the number of items. Let us substitute the value of lambda over here. So this is uh, p of x is equal to x is equal a to the power, the value of lambda is 4, so it is uh, minus 4, 4 power x by x factorial. This is the probability of getting exactly two defectives, so we have to find the probability of getting x is equal to 2, because uh, let us take the small x as 2, uh, substitute uh, 2 in place of x, a to the power minus 4, 4 power x by uh, sorry, 4 power 2 divided by 2 factorial uh, by uh, using your calculator uh, you may get your solution as 0 0.1465. The next one is to find probability of getting none of them is uh, the probability of uh, uh, getting none defective that is no defective. Uh, from which we can understand that it is a uh, non-defective uh, which is equal probability of uh, no defective uh, which is probability of x is equal to 0 because we don't want any defectives so it is a uh, probability uh, this is e power uh, minus 4 4 power in place of x it is 0 by 0 factorial which is e to the power minus 4 uh, from which uh, the solution is 0. Point, uh, 0183. The last 
probability of getting at least to three defectives. The probability of getting at least to three defectives, which is equal to see probability of at least three. So minimum I need three. Maximum it can be any number, two hundred. So it is difficult to find uh, the all the probabilities. Actually, it is uh, we can find, but it's not in the time. The time consumption may be more. So let us start from three. So it should be p of uh, x is equal three plus p of uh, x is equal four plus etc. plus p of x is equal two hundred. Whereas uh, by, by to find all these probabilities become a tedious work and hence uh, uh, use the rule one minus probability of uh, uh, x is uh, less than or equal to uh, two. Hence it is probability of uh, p of x is equal to two is nothing but p of x is equal zero plus p of x is equal one plus p of uh, x is equal to two. Which is equal? It is uh, one minus the probability of x is equal to zero. We have to get it over this rule. In place of x, substitute zero because it is x is equal zero, and hence it is e to the power minus four, four power zero divided by zero factorial. Plus it is p of x is equal one. So in this place of x, substitute one. So it is e power minus four, four power one divided by one factorial plus p of x is equal two. And again substitute two in place, so it is e power minus four, four power two divided by two factorial. Use your calculator to find uh, uh, these values. That is the product of e power minus four and four power zero, which has been divided by the zero factorial, uh, from which we will be getting zero point zero one eight three plus zero point zero seven three three plus zero point one four six five. Uh, from which we will be getting the solution zero point seven six one five as the final solution. In this lecture, we have discussed what is uh, meant by the probability distribution, uh, what is the parameter, what is the probability mass function, and a simple example uh, to compute uh, the probabilities and mean variance and the standard deviation. Soon we will be meeting in the next lecture. Until that, see you and bye bye.